Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is the part two retrofit of the Harman Kardon sound system in my BMW F20. And today we're gonna to be installing these, which are the rear shelf speakers in my BMW F20. These are the Harman Kardon ones. And if you'll see right here, these have the tweeter built inside them. So we are gonna go out to the car and I'm now gonna be installing these into the rear parcel shelf area where they go and I'm going to show you how to access these and remove these. Now, a lot of you are asking me why I'm doing this in bits and parts and why I'm not doing the whole kit. Well, for one, the subs don't need changing under the seats. And many of you will think, yes, you do, because the subs get overpowered with the Harman Kardon speakers on their own. That's true. But I'm going to be actually upgrading to a different amp system, which I'll be showing you in another video and customizing it all myself to make everything sound perfectly and even better than the Harman Kardon amp itself. That's why I'm actually only upgrading these and you would have seen me upgrade the front speakers only for a reason and the subs under the seats will be staying. So I'm gonna go out and show you how to retrofit these as I know a lot of people are gonna to want to do this retrofit also as well as the front speakers. So let's get on to this video. What? God damn, get it done with you. When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes because his memories. We run into New York, so you know. Okay, guys. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is remove these clips along here. There is four of them holding this black panel piece along in the trunk area. I've already removed the hatchback cover already out of here so I could put the camera in here so you guys get to see and I'm going to be removing all these four clips and then taking this plastic bit completely out to be able to get to the rest of where we need to get to. So once you've got that out the next thing you're going to want to do is just press the lever here and release the seats forward just like that so they lay down so you've got full access to this panel. Now you should be able to get to this all the liner here on the boot. You should be able to get to just like that very very easily and you can get to it here be careful of all your stuff behind here and that's the panel out of there now now once you remove that you've then got access to the whole speaker system so we're going to go and start unbolting it but before that, you're going to have to release this other panel up here, which we're going to take out, which is the main panel. So this panel here is held on by rivet clips. So you just want to be careful to pop it off, just like that. And then just pull it out, just like that. And if you can see on this, it's got one locking clip and one rivet clip. Just be careful as you pop it to take it out. And if you'll see up here, you've got two bolts that hold the speaker in place. That's going to drop and you've got one just under here also with the wiring for the speaker. And we're going to take them all out. I believe there are eight mil bolts. So we're just going to drop that so we can get that speaker out. And there's the rear past shelf speaker out of the car. So now to put the new speaker in the car, you just want to locate the belt strap. Firstly, tuck this through, make sure everything goes through it properly, just like that. And then bring it over and pull it in position. Just like that. You just want to retighten all your eight mil bolts Once that's reconnected, the next thing you're going to go ahead and do is put your panel back in. So now it's time to move over to this side and we're going to do the same thing again on this side. We're going to push the seat down and fold it straight down so we can get access to everything in here. And I will fast forward this part up because you guys know now how to actually remove it. You've seen it's not actually hard to get these out.
Okay guys, so as you've seen there, I've now shown you how to retrofit the Harman Kardon shelf speakers in your BMW F20. Now, if you have an F21, you will not have to do this. You can easily just take the casing off the back of your speaker and just put the tweeter and the speaker in the same location. Now, on the F20, you will have to do this. It is not hard to install them whatsoever and can be done very, very easy in a maximum 10 minutes. Now, these are the old speakers, which are the hi-fi ones. And if you see there, it's just one speaker. And if you can see, there's not even a place for a tweeter on any of them there. That's why I upgraded and I just went out, put the music up somewhere where I could actually pull it up loudly, not to disturb all my neighbors. And it's literally incredible. The sound difference in the rear, before you could only hear the tweeters and the front speakers and the rears were not literally non-existent. But now when you put the volume up to the max and actually adjust it, you can hear all the speakers like perfectly, even the rears. Now I am gonna be showing you in part three of the Retrofit Harman Kardon for the new amp that I'm installing because my car has S76, which this amp is only applicable if you have the Hi-Fi system, which is the VO code S76 and not S74. If you have the Harman Kardon system, you will not be able to upgrade to this amp. But this amp, you can tweak it properly from your computer before you fit it to the car to give that much richer sound and make the subs work perfectly along with the Harman Kardon system. This amp is designed to work with all aftermarket speakers, so I don't see why it won't work with all the ones on the car already. So if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe. This is BMW Dr. Dean here, and we have a lot more F20 retrofits coming along the way on this car. So thank you very much for watching and goodbye.